Alright, hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Muckluck Streams. I'm your charming, self-proclaimed, yet still humble host, Muckluck. Today, we're trying out a little game called Warhammer. Hmm. Ah. Uh, this is, uh, this is made by some small startup. Uh, they're, you are trying their hand at gaming. I think they were inspired by StarCraft or something. Uh, but it looks pretty cool. I'm really looking forward to figuring out who the good guys are. Uh, let's see. We left off here last time, and we got some people to commit violence to over here. Another annoyance. Let's see. We got three there, one, two, and then some more over there. Um, is there any behind? I want to make sure we're not getting flanked here. No, I don't think so. Oh, I think it shows them on the map. Okay, yeah, they're all in front of us. Uh, they do have the high ground. That's gonna be a problem. That is gonna be a problem. There's not a lot of cover. Let's see, Abelard. Oh, this little post is cover? Oh, that's convenient, I guess. Uh, is Argenta in the post? Wow, she was, odd. All right, let's put him there and save. Rogue Trader. Indeed, Jason. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Shaq. Good morning, Bluebell. A wicked thought. Me. Fuck yourself. If you insist, Lord Captain. Uh, you don't have line of sight of any of those? Alright. Well, I hope they don't have line of sight of you either. <laughs> Stun grenade. Oh, that is not good. <laughs> Warden taking a huge hit. Okay. Let's see. Put the same buff if on I Muck. Another foe painted All right, black. one down. And who's next? Isn't this a Argenta, job for the Sirs? Can you hit from here? Magenta can hit that one only. All right. Faith without deeds is worthless. I'll do it. This is why I was chosen. Zero. What? Uh. <laughs> what? It does not say. Does not say that she should be invulnerable. I don't know why that did zero. I was actually thinking when this fight started that these dudes were gonna attack us while she like makes a getaway, but then she came back to fight. So I was like, oh, okay. Doubt is for the <laughs> Okay, now she can hit her. Odd. I'll do it. As the emperor, of this is why I was chosen. Faith with that. <laughs> I'll do it. The cackling. No, another stun grenade, dude. I've got some people that still. Oh my god, so many stun grenades. For the throne. All right, glory. resolve buff. Uh, what else? Put this buff on Abelard. Put haste on Cassia. I won't get on that guy. Alright, let's run. My competencies are not that universal. Happy is the trait of his faith. Move here. Free attack. Knockback. Oh. Blast. And then... My try to go into cover. The scriptural prognosis is favorable. Okay. <laughs> I've seen worse battles than this in my time. Move the tank in here. Try to taunt all of them. The camera's not liking this area. Yeah, it's going a little crazy. 
Uh, let's see. Stack damage on Argenta. Let's put regen on this random guard. Uh, let's get fast another turn. Within schemes. Cass can put a buff on Heinrichs and blast this guy. Warp curse on that. Wow. I'm enraged. Well, that random guard I cast regen on just died. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Okay. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Doubt is for momentum. If I may. Oh, man, Abelard in trouble. Not like that. Not my worst day. Yet. I'll do it. That is not the Emperor's will. What? Oh, she needs to reload. Um. Rejoice in battle! As the Emperor's will. I'll do it. Doubt is for this is why I was chosen. Okay. Heinrich's buff. Can Heinrich's get in range to heal? But of course, Abelard? Yes, he Lord can. Captain. Naturally. Put haste on him. Uh, iron arm for the on throne's Pascal. glory. Pascal. Three attackers parried. Push. Running by Eric Shot. Beyond the sign of all comprehends all. Abelard. It will be done. I will do my duty. Taunts. <sighs> Why is the ringing? Alright, can we get in range to heal? Alright, so there's regen on him. And a single target heal. And let's see. Do I set someone on fire or give someone an extra turn? What if? Cast an extra turn. As duty demands, that is foolishness. Oh God! Someone just hit the well, both our frontline people are down again. What's new? I have read tomes of military tactics. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Give Muck a turn. And, oh, wait. Uh, I had finest hour charged earlier. It's not charged now. What the heck? Let's see. Hmm. Make them shoot each other. I won't go down easy. This one was just pulling on my shirt. Okay. Thank you 
you, my emperor. As the emperor commands, I act. Oh my gosh. Guided by faith. <laughs> Would you, my emperor. I need to relocate the chip cam. I mean, he's all over the place. He was on the floor, then he was in the other chair, now he's on the back of my chair. He cannot make up his mind. Uh, once Let's again, we're in a battle where we got four people left. I won't object to it. I need a foothold. Does she have this buff? No, she does not. But of course, Lord Captain. Uh, let's see. Does Argenta currently have a region? I don't think so. It's Heinrix. Yes. Right, a uh, genius Argenta. at work. And put. Let's on see. Give her another what turn. If? Faith without a strike is a prayer. Jeez, Argenta is almost dead now. Cold embrace of Argenta's death. down. Our Emperor. I'm not accustomed to Another being ordered to the around. Recipe. Another foul painted black. Alright, we just deleted the enemy caster. I am a navigator, not a servitor. For the throne's glory. I won't object to it. If I may. To the heretic! Oh, one of the other guards just went down. Install mini chip cams, change to a different one depending on his whims. <laughs> this camera is all over the room. People are like, are you into weird stuff? I'm like, no, no, no. It's, it's for my cat. It's not weird at all. Let's see to it. Through the smoking gunfire. A wicked thought. Isn't this a job for the sky to die with grace, at least? Hmm. Does he have regen on self? Battlefields are always drowned in scarlet. Me, as duty demands. Oh, I didn't see this one behind us. You don't frighten me. I won't object to it. Let's see to it. <laughs> For the throne's glory. A genius at work. Okay, dot on him. Let's see. Give her another turn. And I am a navigator. Oh. Try to die with grace, at least. these people are upset because I keep petting this cat and then they came here because they wanted to see Warner Magic. What if they came here for Warner He says that's ridiculous. Happy cat? Oh yeah, he's, he's loving things right now.
Okay. Emperor, give me strength. All right, well, three of our people went down, but the other three won the fight. Mercy! The Lady Navigator covers her face with her disfigured scaly hands, each with an extra finger and conjoined phalangeal bones. Her clothes are covered in blood, mostly that of your servants, and several unexploded bolts are sticking out of her chest plate. Rogue Trader, whether on purpose or out of ignorance, you are harboring a monster that is cunningly pretending to be an innocent maid. Spare me, and I, Alina, Haterio, or Celio, will swear to tell you the whole truth about the madness that is devouring House Orcelio like a malignant tumor. Do not let the regent deceive you with honeyed lies lest the cursed child ruin your protectorate as well. You see rage and despair in the Lady Navigator's face, but neither is directed at you. Your fate will be decided during the trial, Lady Elena. I will hear what you wish to tell me. Thank you for your lenience, Rogue Trader. She's lucky. We could have just said, we could have just gone full Judge Dread right there. The unnaturally bulbous eyes of the Navigator constantly shift between you and Cassia. Black secretions run down her cheeks instead of tears, leaving unsightly streaks. I, Elena Hateria of House Arcelio, swear to tell the rogue trader nothing but the truth. May the God Emperor be my witness. Regent Aranto, pathetic. <laughs> He's still laying on the ground. Is that on purpose? Silence. With all due respect, House Orcelio has hardly covered itself in glory thus far today. It is time that its representatives answered before the rogue trader. Hmm. Regent Aranto, representatives of your house made an attempt on Lady Cassia's life and attacked a rogue trader. Aranto, rogue trader, House Rosselio humbly asks for your lenience and forgiveness. We could not even imagine these vile rats could be scurrying among our ranks. As for them sneaking into the rogue trader's palace and staging an unthinkable crime, God Emperor be our witness, the accursed renegades seek to spark a feud between our houses. So, he got attacked by the others. I do believe he's not with them. I'm getting tapped on the shoulder again. Oh my god. <laughs> he is just really, really thirsty for pets right now. Anyone who's here every day can tell you. He occasionally jumps up here, but not like this often, not this thirsty. Okay. Uh, I believe you, Regent Aranto, and yet this is now the second attempt that has been made on Cassia's life. I need answers. We are ready to tell you everything we know so that this misunderstanding can be remedied as quickly as possible. Why are people trying to kill Lady Cassia? Everyone in the house knows the child is the keeper of the one true Starway Atlas, which once belonged to our great navigator, Tisiphone Orcelio. The ungrateful wretches secretly hated her grace, and when Tisiphone abdicated her responsibilities and set off for parts unknown, they staged a revolt to destroy her successor. Does Cassia really carry Tisiphone's Atlas? We believe it with all our heart. The Novator spent many cycles on the world where the child was born. It is said that everyone who witnessed the miracle of her birth simultaneously departed for a destination known only to the Novator. 
Tisiphone gave the order and followed them soon after, leaving her precious gift, the Atlas, to Cassia and therefore marking her as her successor. What do you know about Cassia's unbridled power? A special gift for a special child. She was born with it and grew up under its influence. The instability sometimes hampered with her education, but we learned to prevent most outbursts. As long as the child remains calm and remains in seclusion, the power cannot take hold of her mind. Tell me more about the renegades. They are madmen who seek to destroy the centuries-old traditions of our great house, so carefully nurtured by the previous Novator to Siphony or Celio. They deem the century of her rule a tyranny and our most sacred relic a curse that must be destroyed. Fools! If the Atlas were to be destroyed, the whole of House Orcelio would follow it into oblivion. Why... Why do the renegades seek to destroy the House's relic? They dread her power, for only a Novator can fully grasp the mysteries and harness the power of the Starway Atlas. What the renegades call a leash, we call a guiding star. It looks like House Orcelio has fallen on hard times. The regent stays silent and then replies, To call your statement false would be a lie. For many years we managed to maintain the fragile balance within our house, but then the Novator's departure shook the faith of many. The treasury is empty, the navigators are scattered, the warp routes are scrambled, and many of our allies cannot be reached, which is why it is so important to complete the child's education. It is Cassia's duty to take to Tiffany's place and lead the house to prosperity. Such is her great destiny. I have heard enough. Lady Eleanor, what do you have to say in your defense? I do not know what it is you wish to learn, but I will start from the very beginning. A long time ago, Tisiphone ascended to the throne of Orcelio, and she was a daring novator who brought part of the house to the expanse, hoping to strengthen our position in the Imperium. The house prospered, but Tisiphone was never satisfied. She went mad in her pursuit of power, seeking more influence, more control, and she saw enemies everywhere, even among her loyal followers. Paranoia was slowly driving Tisiphone insane, and one day she created the Starway Atlas, a relic that is implanted in our bodies at birth, a noose around our necks, our gift and our damnation. She used the Atlas to control us, subdue our will, and mold our thoughts. If anyone put a toe out of line, she killed them with a glance. At first, many branches- dude, this sounds like Neji's family from Naruto. At first, many branches of House Orcelio tried to resist tyranny, and Tisiphone cut them down with extreme brutality. For example, the entire Sethala branch was destroyed simply because its leaders asked too many questions about the Atlas and wanted to know the truth about its creation. What else is Tisiphone Orcelio guilty of? Tisiphone's madness weakened the dynasty, and not long ago, the Novator vanished. Indeed, her loyal followers lie when they say she chose to retire. The truth is, nobody knows the truth. I hope she's rotting away on one of her secret worlds, she says with a sneer. I understand Tisiphone's transgressions, but what does any of that have to do with Lady Cassia? Tisiphone passed her atlas onto her successor before fleeing the house to a newborn child. We cannot surrender the throne to the tyrant's creature. Tisiphone was cunning and treacherous. She must have hatched the entire plan beforehand. Her disappearance, the child, the transfer of the leash. We feared that one day she would be reborn in Cassia's body, and we could not let that happen. You called Cassia a monster because of Tisiphone's atlas. Largely yes, but there is more. Have you never felt pure, unadulterated disgust while standing close to her? Or perhaps fury? Or fear? Uh, who but a monster could manipulate the minds and feelings of others, even more so than Tisiphone herself did? I mean, I felt something. It wasn't those things, though. Why didn't you attack before? Why now? Tisiphone always had plenty of opponents, but we were afraid to trust one another. Any of us could be spying for our followers. We saved our strength and dealt the first blow five years after the heir was born, striking one of the estates on Ear TV. But the girl survived, and the regent Aranto hid her so far away that guards uh, and guarded so thoroughly took us another 13 years to find her. Then another two years to get into the regent's good graces and reach Iraq 5. Now Cassia is in the spotlight and the House Council is about to put her on the throne. Surely there's no better time to cut the serpent's head. So you admit Regent Aranto was not aware of the assassination attempt. She clicks her tongue loudly. Aranto is, a guilty, uh, is guilty of mass killings, intimidation, inhuman torture, abetting Tisiphone, and raising her heir. 
His crimes are many, but this one is not among them. I'd love to see his head on the chopping block, but honor prohibits me from slandering him in a trial before the rogue trader. I've heard enough. Uh, the rogue trader now knows about the region's atrocities and the girl's corruption. I hope I succeeded in warning you about the danger that lurks within Cassia or Tselio. Um, Lady Cassia, you too are an injured party in this. What would you do in my place? If I may speak, so many dirty colors have poured from the mouths of those present that I feel covered in filth from head to toe. I, as the future Novator, I want to bleach them, purify them, and let them go. Heed me. I am the one to blame for what happened today, and I accept full responsibility for the actions of my house. She's, Cassia speaks bravely and openly, though her hands are shaking a little. Lady Navigator Elena. You wretch! Who do you think you are? Will you now start killing those who have displeased you as Tisiphone did before you? The fury on Elena's face gives way to desperation when she realizes what she just said. She slowly reaches for the atlas embedded in her chest, looking at Cassia with obvious fear. Aranto, hear us, child. This burden is too heavy for you to shoulder alone. You are not yet ready. Cassia, I implore you. To settle this conflict, I offer the rogue trader a hundred-year contract with House Orcelio, committing us to charting the shortest and safest routes for the Von Valencius Protectorate within the Coronas Expanse. I will also remain aboard the Rogue Trader's vessel and assist him until he decides otherwise, or until duty to the house summons me to the Novator's seat. What are you going to do, Lady Elena? The esteemed regent will put Lady Elena and her people in one of our family gaols. She is a house or cellio navigator after all, there's no need for our precious blood to be spilt. What is a gaol? Uh, Lady Elena stares at Cassia incred incredulously with bulging eyes but remains silent. Her hand restlessly caresses the spot where her atlas is embedded. It's a jail? Okay. Well, I do want to keep Cassia on the crew very, very much. Thank you for your input, Lady Cassia. I will consider whether I should accept your offer. She nods curtly. You are so needy this morning. I'm getting tapped on the shoulder again. I will accept Lady Cassia's offer. We will sign the contract and the navigators will be free to leave Dargonus. Cassia smiles. You have never seen her so open or so radiant. Thank you, Muck Von Luck. I mean, rogue traitor. Regent Aranto remains silent for a long while. So be it. We failed to notice that our child had grown up and become strong. You may stay with the rogue traitor until the house summons you. His influence is anomalous, but it has served to bring our blessed Tisiphone's most precious talent, the talent of leadership. Rogue Trader, we are now bound by the terms of the contract. Your representatives may contact House Orcelio at any time, and we will respond. And one more thing, protect the child like the apple of your eye. Remember that you have the future Novator of a, no a Navis Nobility House aboard your vessel. Did you see that one of the bodies just started sliding out of the room without standing up? Are the dialogue choices mostly for the story, or do they affect the game in any way? Oh, they very much affect the game. But, yeah, it's both. The answer is both. They very much affect it. Uh... Okay. Do we need to talk to Cass now? doesn't want to talk at the moment. Alright, I think we're done here. Send back this way. Pet chip again? Awesome, oh, we've done so many pet chips this morning. He is drowning in pets. 